It is test time for the SpaceX Dragon. Overnight tonight, NASA will send the unmanned vehicle to the International Space Station. And if all goes as planned, the capsule's next trip could propel a group of American astronauts back to space for the first time in almost a decade. News for Jack's meteorologist Jonathan Stacy introduces us to the Dragon's very own robot that could impact human space exploration for years to come. When the SpaceX Dragon soars into space at 2.49 on Saturday morning, no human astronauts will be on board. But that doesn't mean wit, sensitivity, and intellect won't be on the spacecraft for the week-long journey. That's because Ripley will be along for the ride and hard at work the entire time. With safety top of mind, NASA's placed the crash test dummy, who's named after Ellen Ripley, then main character in the late 70s movie Alien, at the forefront of this critical demonstration. She'll be accompanied by 400 pounds of cargo, but Ripley will be no dead weight for the Dragon. Late this week, SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweeted out this photo showing she's ready to work. In fact, she's loaded with a wide range of sensors that will send signals and data back to astronomers and engineers back on the ground. Her duties for the week are centered around measuring forces and acceleration that could be experienced by a future human astronaut. Additionally, Ripley will monitor changes in speed, temperature, and noise levels. After a busy week of business travel to the International Space Station, Ripley's findings will ultimately help determine how and when NASA will send American astronauts back to space from American soil through its commercial crew program. So when you see the dragon flying above the pre-dawn Saturday sky, remember Ripley is inside, working on a weekend and already down to business. Jonathan Stacy, Channel 4, The Local Station.